I'm Mark, this is Steve. Basically, our good friend Stu got diagnosed with kidney cancer just before Christmas. He had his kidney removed Tuesday and he's now been out of hospital for three days. He had a bit of a bad time after the operation, but before he went into hospital, we were talking to him about what his dream bike was when he was a kid. Basically, we still ride BMXs despite our advanced years and we still totally love BMX and everything about BMX. Stu has always really liked Eddie Fiola's GT Performer. It was all yellow with a few gold bits on it. So in the last couple of years, Eddie's come out with a bike called the EF Proformer, which is like a new school version. And Stu has basically always said that he totally would love that bike. That's his like dream bike. About a month ago, Mark contacted you, all of his friends and family, to let him know what we were planning on doing and to see if we could raise the money for the frame, the forks and another few bits and pieces on it. So we wrote to Eddie Fiola and told him about Stu um, and basically Eddie and his manager Jeremy Moser just came back straight away and said that they would do the frame, forks and bars for cost price which was like amazing. So we were hoping initially to just get money for the frame and forks and the handlebars but here's the amazing thing, we got even more money than that, we got enough money for the wheels and more and more money kept coming in and we've now managed to get the whole bike. We've managed to get enough parts to build Stu's dream BMX. It's also amazing because it's January, everybody's totally bloody skinned, but so many people have got that much love for Stu that they just wanted to be a part of it. Even people who were on sick pay that know Stu still wanted to send like a tenner or, or 20 quid. It's been amazing. I feel like, you know, Bob Geldof with better hygiene. Okay, so now it's, it's like three days since Stu's out of hospital. We haven't seen him since then. We're about to go around now, supposedly for a cup of tea. We've got no idea how he's going to react. Hopefully, he'll be really chuffed. All right, dude, you recovering all right? Just about, yeah. 20 cycles. We've got, right, a little surprise for you. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a good surprise, so I've got to film it. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Obviously, when you got your diagnosis and everything, it freaked us out loads and we were dead worried. And we were, me and Steve started talking about something that we could get for you and something that would occupy you a little bit as you were getting better. So me and Steve put a bit of money in and then we asked a few other people if they were up for putting a bit of money in. And we got you this thing. Where is that? Oh, it's like Christmas all over again. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me, dude. There you go. Wow. I'm in shock. I totally am in shock. I did all the same. We uh, wrote to Eddie. Yeah. Eddie gave it us at cost price. Under there, if you like, lift that out. Wow. I'm just in total shock, I really am. you got to give me a hug now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Squeeze your scar, man. <laughs> <laughs> They are in nice. <laughs> yes. They are Eddie Fiola commission tufts. There's only 50 pairs in the world. You're worth it, kid. That's not all, though. <laughs> So we started asking people, we didn't ask for anybody. The amazing thing was, everybody just wanted to do it. We thought, maybe we'll get the frame. We thought, yeah. maybe we'll get enough to just get the wheels. Yeah. Did it get himself now? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, open that box. We've got a little bit more. <laughs> it's a whole bike. It is everything. <laughs> I'm there, don't worry. I think I've gone as well. <laughs> Don't know how to do stuff or money or right. So me and Mark obviously put some in and sort of started it going. But then you can see how many people there are. So Joe Crumpton, Andrew Quinn, Pauline Johnson, Andy Humphreys, yeah. uh, Carl Page, Chris Miller, Dale Payne, John Barton, Dave Baker. So lots of people from the past as well as like present. Jamie Barton, Marv O'Brien, Pete Newbold, Mike the Bike, uh, Philip Crumpton, Pete Hastelow, Susie King. Nathan Dudley, Janet Byrne, John Griffin, Dave Young, the Dave Young, yeah. uh, Steve Watkins, Andy Davis and Claire Tomlinson, Fred and Mary Thurman, Rich Brakewell, Craig Tracy, Lee Carlton, Nathan Carlton, Jodie Leon Green, Julie Potts, Nathan Jackson, James Crossley, Catherine Stokes, <laughs> Phil Britton, Dean Smith, Joora Wood, Jenny Hallett, Jim Ritchie, Chris Pink, Dave Ridley, there's more, Michelle Edwards, Fiona Lambden, Elaine McQuaid, Paul Browning, Doug Crouch, Tracy Maguire, Matt Thompson, Derek Robson, Jane Hollis, 
Sharon Howard, Lee White, uh, Tammy Turnbull, Sarah Allen, Lucy Shaw, Tamla Carpenter, Sandra and Jim Savage, Jam and Roy Keston, Claire Harnett Man, Denise Harnett, Gaz Tuck, and then we've got loads of other bits and pieces from Scott. Scott Brummel did. Have a look in that tyre, dude. That's fantastic. So Scott, he did uh, One Flying Kidney dice valve caps. Daisy Cross, she did design the uh, One Flying Kidney yes. logo. Jay Wright, she anodised the levers, she anodised the brake calipers. Johnny at Flat Squirrel gave us loads of parts for a bit cheaper as well. That's not quite all. We know you don't like to ride toughs all the time. You've got a full set of spoke wheels there with a KHE free coaster. Hey Stu, Eddie Fiola here. Uh, you got some pretty cool friends, so I hope you like the bike. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. All right, take it easy. <laughs> Bless you. Just one last little thing from me, Steve. Yeah, man. I'll be back on it soon. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, you know, tell me we're devastated, man. Just be tired at five feet on camp, so I'm really tired of your dog. <laughs> you ain't dying, dude. In fact, you're gonna do a backflip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no. That's oh, the last. That. You talk to someone like that, and you think that's it, game over. Yeah. Game's be game's just begun. It's not. It's the start. Definitely. Yeah, we both said the same, isn't it? It's not the end. It's beginning. We're all going. <laughs> Did you want to say a bit to camera dude, just to, to the people that just quick right. message? Obviously you'll contact everyone in the Yeah, well. I'm, obviously I'm in a bit of shock right now, but I'd just like to say I'm a bit shocked really do that. I know so many people that didn't know in the first. And they just laugh, you know, just... I don't know. I really just know what to say at the moment, but I'll definitely be in touch. <laughs>
Guess Mark and the gang have just surprised you yet again. I hope you're having a fantastic day. You've always been an inspiration to me through growing up, BMX days and stuff like that. I'm hoping you're really enjoying that lovely new bike. Quite bright, you certainly can't be missed on it. Please just punch the heel a little bit. Really happy that you got the bike in your dreams that you've always wanted. And I hope it is helping to cause your recovery. I hope to see you do some 360s very soon, my friend. And I hope your recovery continues to be just as amazing as you are. Just a little one for you. Hello! I'm really looking forward to the new video. It doesn't matter what anybody said, but at the last video I didn't cry, I just had something in my eye, okay? And I'd just like to send lots of love and good wishes to yourself and your family for the future. Have a great time and enjoy the bike. Hope to have a ride with you soon, man. And I shall be hoping for a back key like old times. All the best, God bless you. Bye! Dear Eddie Fiona, I am writing to you to tell you how much I admire you, as well as how thankful I am. My dad is too. You changed my dad's life. He believes in himself more. He takes care of his body more. I think you deserve my appreciation. The first time I saw you was when you sent that thoughtful video message. My dad watched it over and over shouting, he knows my name. He thought it was just a dream, but it was much more. You will be my best role model, as well as little Max, and I will always remember. I would like to ponder if you can show me how to build bikes and fix them. I can't wait to see you in California in a few years. Hope to have breakfast with you again. Yours sincerely, Ariana.